saw red LED. It's hard to see that screen angle I've got it. All right, so this is mostly for Craig and Bethany since they were on the ride yesterday. Um, that James, I don't know if that's an L or an I, but I assume it's an I. Um, the James I. Rice West River Parkway sign over there by that Opus group thing. Uh, that's where we turned. This is uh, Plymouth yesterday. You can see the little barriers over there. Um, and so when I suggested going north, uh, this is the little stretch that I was suggesting. Um, there's not a whole lot of it. So um, I guess that uh, we'll see. And uh, so normally when I uh, go out for rides by myself on the weekends, I will um, have music playing. And uh, I'm gonna not do that this time because I wanted to point out like places to park. Like parking I think is always free here. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of benefit to parking there rather than at my place. Uh, and for Craig and Bethany, I mean, I guess the whole parking thing doesn't really matter too much if you guys have to come and pick up the bikes. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I guess the parking would matter for John, uh, probably just John. And one thing is that if Nick comes, then Nick doesn't have a bike, so like, uh, basically somebody needs to get a bike if we're gonna all go out as a group. Uh, yeah, um, I think Britt might have some old bikes that you could bring. Uh, he's got a truck so he could bring them. Uh, that's between you and Britt. <laughs> so, uh, and you can see there's a, you know, there's a little ways, a nice little stroll down this way. Uh, it's fine for running, but it ends up here pretty quickly. So there's Broadway Pizza. They have a nice uh, Tuesday night, date night thing. You can go across up there, or you can go down here. I don't know that it really matters. I mean, uh, you avoid the, uh, light this way and then you have to deal with this right, so the key to ice is just to keep going forward don't try to turn on the ice uh, and see this sign up here it's split bikes and people And again, I don't know that it really matters which way that you go. Um, obviously come out right there if we stayed at the light. There's the event center and the Parks and Recs board. And then you can see here, there's a sign that says the Mississippi River Trail two and a half miles or North 26 Ave. Um, I don't know what was established 1883, maybe this park. Uh, but uh, it's a dead end for more than just the cars. Um, so you can get off the bikes and I mean, you're not supposed to, but uh, it is physically possible to like go out there on that bridge. Um, definitely fall through. Um, well, your stuff could fall through. I think it's, I think it would be pretty hard for a human to fall completely through. Might like fall in and land awkwardly. It's dangerous. That's why it's not, you're not supposed to go there. So there's some snow, but I, uh, I mean, you can see when there's no leaves on the trees, like it's super easy to just walk out there. Um, and there's nothing really stopping you. So, um, if you wanted to, you could. Uh, I thought about it, thought about taking some pictures from out there, but it just, uh, the fear of like dropping something through was bigger than the fear of injury, but still it was there. So yeah, you could cut up that way, I guess. But, um, so if we were gonna go as far north as I, 
you know, I feel like it's interesting. I mean, this is so short. I mean, there are paths across in the northeast. Um, yeah. Then you can get to that. There's a, this thing called the Diagonal Trail, um, which I've been on for sections, but I haven't sort of like explored completely. Um, that would be something that I would like to do. Um, there are some hills, but I don't think anything quite like what we did yesterday. Uh, Alright, so we're back to this little place. I'm gonna just cut across here. Alright then. Bang everything together again. Alright, and so then we'll turn left up here at the thing. So what I was thinking, and see this would take a uh, Bethany and Craig and her neck to be willing to bike on the roads for a bit was that we could go up here to where the Mississippi River Trail connects and then you can go for quite a while um, and Nick has been on that stretch with me um, on the road uh, uh, I you know I think to me as long as you're not biking in the dark Especially with a group, it should be fine. Um, you know, I've kind of a pro at the whole city riding thing, but I don't know. I think it's uh, I think it's fine once once you get the hang of the cars. The thing is, is you gotta like listen behind you for like when the cars are coming in and stuff, and just sort of like prepare yourself mentally. Um, for that, you know, just so you're not shocked when it like, but once you get like, um, so we do have a bike lane for a bit. I'm trying to think at some point we lose the bike lane, but I can't remember if it's before or after places that I'm thinking about. It's been a while since I've been up this way. There's not really anything you know, like, I guess if you go away from the river, then there's like, there's a grocery store on Broadway. Uh, there's some paintball up here, but you know, mostly it's like industrial sort of stuff. Um, I don't know what the fuck this car is doing. They're just gonna stop. There's Theo Worth Parkway. Um, turn left there. You could also go down on uh, on Plymouth. Um, if you turn left instead of right on Plymouth, that'll take you to Theo. Uh, summer but I guess they just haven't cleaned it yet after the snow and ice uh, and as far as like time this is like way way faster than we were going yesterday um, you probably need to like at least double the amount of time this has taken me if we go the same pace we went yesterday just to, like thinking about how long this ride is uh, all right so here um, we might have like an interesting place um, to meet John or Brent um, 
So I think actually what we need to do here, what I need to do is cross the street. You can, uh, there's a bike lane, but then you have to kind of cross at an awkward spot um, to actually get onto the trail on the other side. So I'm just gonna cross here. Uh, This is, if you saw uh, my shot of my turkeys close to Thanksgiving, uh, or before Thanksgiving actually, um, that was up on this trail. I think that was the last time I went on this trail. There's the city, it's kind of a cloudy day. Not really a great view, but there it is. Uh, uh, and there's the uh, Ferris wheel that, uh, some all use as a landmark. Uh, so I guess, yeah, I don't know if on the maps there's Ferris wheel, so um, you can uh, see that. And then of course, like, I guess there's places for taking pictures and stuff here. I don't know that I've ever biked out on the side. Um, this may not even be the bridge I was thinking about, to be honest. It might be one more down. That might that bridge over there might be the one I'm thinking about. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, actually I think that one is it. So, might have to turn around here, but then we got to see this bridge. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever been across on this bridge. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so it pretty much turns into city. I've never been over there. Um, I don't really know. I'm not really like still know the northeast. And then there's a sign that says "Welcome to Northeast." Still know it well enough to know where that Ferrisville is. This is the Lowry Avenue Bridge. So, uh, yeah, a little detour here. Like I said, it's been a while <laughs> since I've been up here. Uh, I think that next one is yet. So again, like you know it's not the closest place in the world as far as getting to but uh, I don't think those hills are too bad I mean they're certainly not like the hills yesterday it's still kind of too sandy for me to want to just plow through uh, and make gaffes there. That's pretty funny to me. Some debris. This is why I always get reinforced tires because. You never know when there's gonna be debris. Alright, so not by the Hoover Will alignment. I mean, if somebody wants to go explore on that side, but it looks like it's super, like, city. Um, so let's see what we got. We still got bike lane, nobody turning. There's some bike bikes. Where there's not really a good fat bike place around here. I mean, if you're going to Theo, I guess it's a long way to go on a fat bike and then to do like fat biking. But all right, so up here might be where we lose the uh bike way. I mean, up here eventually for sure there's no bike way. Uh, or maybe there's no sidewalk. I tried to run up here once. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe there is bike lane the whole way. <laughs> I do not remember. I think maybe there is bike lane. And see, obviously there's no sidewalk over here. So, um, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. 
that makes that a little more of a uh, doable thing, I think. All right, so this is a bit of a hill. Um, it is what it is. So, uh, I'm thinking the uh, place where I, the bridge where I turn to uh, see the turkeys is the same bridge where you can go north um, so basically you have your option of either side um, for the bikes and I've tried to like explore down in that area and um, it's all like industrial and like not uh, there's there's nowhere to go um, so A lot of sand still. Still going uphill, <laughs> in case that's not obvious on the uh, video. And then like, I don't know if, the, I think there's parking on the street up here. There's a little beat up street that I'm about to turn right on. 